South Africa continues to see a huge amount of unclaimed pension fund benefits with billions of rands owed to approximately 5 million members. This year's Financial Sector Conduct Authority report shows that South Africa is sitting with 47 billion rand in unclaimed pensions and many of these are former mine workers. The Open Secrets together with the Unpaid Benefits Campaign are hosting the People's Hearing on Unpaid Pensions at Constitution Hill today. What's the impact of the delay of the pension payout to beneficiaries? For more on the issue of pension payouts, I'm joined by Thomas uh, Malukutza from the Unpaid Benefits Campaign. And Dr. Malukutza, thank you very much for your time here on ENCA. What seems to be the problem? Uh, because we're saying unclaimed, so it's not as though uh, companies or uh, government entities etc are not willing to pay these pension funds out to people who used to work for them it looks like people are not claiming what what causes this thank you for having me and uh, uh, what I can say is um, people are coming forward and the purpose of today's event with uh, the unclaimed the unpaid benefits campaign with together with open secrets the purpose of it is because uh, the people should come forward and all administrators even the fsca have been invited to come over to come and listen to the grievances of the people as they to come and hear them out what exactly is their frustration right but now uh, the people as the UBC and Open Secrets, we are constantly helping people on the ground in terms of assisting them to claim whatever is due to them. It can be a pension fund or it can be a provident fund or it can be a surplus. But then in today's event that has been, that has been arranged by Open Secrets and, 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 and UBC, all administrators, even the PFA, did not show up because now they know there are reasons behind for not coming up to this event to come and hear people about their grievances. So uh, people are, come to, are coming forward and we help them wherever we can uh, for them to claim whatever is due to them. But then taking into account that now these funds, once you take law, you don't claim for that money. They are taking that money and putting under the UBF unclaimed benefit fund. But then at the same token, I suspect, we suspect that mm. these administrators, they are, they are deliberately deleting the members who have been contributing into those funds, into those various funds. And you find that now a fund becomes an orphan fund or a dormant fund and it has a query somehow mm, mm. and they end up cancelling these funds unlawfully and only to find out once you cancel these funds hence today we have this the, the fsca has got a backlog of these funds because the fsca should have taken uh, uh, the, the, the authority to regulate all these administrators because now they are reporting to the yeah. FSCA but mm -hmm. then the FSCA simply overlooked whatever they can and they did this on their own these administrators they yeah. simply uh, uh, they simply uh, cancelled these funds mm -hmm. without mm -hmm. the notification so I'm sorry to, to interject, uh, Mr. Yes. Mulukotza. I'm just wondering why. I'm interested to know why um, you're finding that the statistics show that it's mainly uh, former mine workers who are unpaid or who haven't claimed. Why are we seeing this particular trend? Uh, majority of, of the mine workers, uh, the ex-mine workers, some mm. are around here in South Africa. Some also are the, the foreign mine ex-mine workers some of were from Lesotho, uh, Swaziland, uh, Botswana, uh, Angola yeah you know reaching the African continent they were not told by the authorities of those mines that they were contributing in those funds mm. hence today there's this backlog 
because now people are not aware. I can quote myself because I am one of the beneficiaries. My father started working in the mines from 1948 until 1975. He's originally from Lesotho, but then my father passed away in 1985. He worked in the mines, uh, Simarinjek gold mine, and then he was transferred to Flakfontein gold mine. Until today, we are still battling to get uh, what was due to my father. But at mm. the same token, people are not aware that they have to claim. And the FSCA is coming on, is not coming on board to assist such people, especially the mine workers. Mine workers and we on the other side, Open Secrets and, 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 and UBC, we are trying at our level best, you know, to, to, to put forth the names of the, the ex-mine workers, administrators who are administering these mine funds. They don't have the database of all, of all the people who worked in the mines. It's just a few of these administrators. And then that's a frustration coming from the administrators and the FSCA. But then yeah. ever since from, 90, from, from 2017, the, the FSCA has admitted that now it's around 10 billion of unclaimed mine workers retirement funds. Yeah, yeah. That's a very frustration ever since from the 18th of April 2017. That's a very, I mean, today is when we speak about, uh, it's now 2020. Mine yeah. workers are still, are, are still struggling to have access in all this. Yeah. Yesterday, we held a meeting with the FSCA authorities. We raised this issue uh, regarding about, the, especially the mine workers. Today, because some of the mine workers uh, had an old dumpers, an old dumpers, and some yeah. were were using their uh, respective uh, passports from mm. like for, like my father's because mm. he still he died still using a Lesotho passport. Yeah. When we go and in in the FSCA search engine website, trying to 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 to, to punch my father's my late father's uh, passport numbers, it doesn't appear. The yeah. FSCA website, this is what we raised with them that now. That's right. a very frustration on our side, yes. Yeah. I'll definitely um, ask the team to try and get the FSCA to speak to us, to tell us exactly what the issue is on, the, on their side. But thank you very much uh, for speaking to us here on ENCA. That was Thomas Malokulza, who is the Unpaid Benefits Campaign's Steering Committee member.